Neuritis. Okay, let's go with optic neuritis. <clears throat> uh, autoimmune condition, right? So what's going to be the presenting complaint? I'm going to explain a lot of things about this optic neuritis to you because it can come separately only as an optic neuritis or it can come with some other autoimmune condition as well. So have a, have a uh, read or listen to me. So presenting complaint is a sudden loss of vision. Sudden loss of vision they might have. Uh, maybe blurring of vision or sometimes they say, you know, when I'm moving the eyes, when I'm moving the eyes, it's painful. That's very typical of this uh, 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 optic neuritis. So when I'm moving my eyes, it's painful. I've got uh, blurring of vision or maybe loss of vision. They might have a color vision problem as well. They can't see the colors uh, properly. Uh, that's the thing. Um, so color vision, altered color vision. Uh, halos, that's important. Blood vision, that's important. So pain in the eye, mainly when they are moving the eyes. Sudden loss of vision, maybe. Halos, color halos, uh, color vision problem as well. That is what you'll see. So what you need to do, you need to rule out some differentials, right? So uh, like uh, if they are having color halos and also you need to rule, rule out glaucoma as well. That's really important. Which glaucoma we are ruling out here? Angle closure glaucoma, right? Uh, Retinal detachment, RD, that's very important as well, like curtain falling, for example, that is something you can ask. And obviously, macular degeneration as well. But again, macular degeneration, you'll see, of course, wavy lines, you can see, elderly patient, you will see. Optic neuritis, comparatively, you'll see in young patients. Optic neuritis, you'll see symptoms going to come, like, quickly. But uh, in macular degeneration, it might be, like, slowly, slowly, the symptoms are uh, progressing. That's what you will see, isn't it? So... Presenting complaint associated with the halos, uh, altered color vision, then rule out some important red flags or differentials. Now, now what you need to see, see optic neuritis, if it is there, only eye problem, it's fine. But sometimes with eye problem, patient is having some other systemic problems as well. Because if you see uh, autoimmune condition, which autoimmune com condition I'm looking for? MS. Sometimes patient will give you the, some other symptoms of MS as well. Sometimes they will give you the history of MS in the family. My mother had MS. My mother is having MS. That is that's really important history because see MS, first of all, multiple sclerosis, it's mostly seen in females. I'm not saying it cannot happen in males. Mostly it's in females. And you will see it is in like in 30s, yeah, yeah, young, young females, I mean. So that's really important. So that's what I want you to do. Like past medical history risk factor, ask for any autoimmune condition. So it could be only optic neuritis, but it could be with some underlying cause that is multiple sclerosis. Could be lupus as well, right? Diabetes, hypertension, smoking, that is something that you're going to ask. Mood of the patient uh, that you can ask, right? What you need to do? You need to do eye examination. You need to do fundoscopy examination. Sudden loss of vision. So we do neurological examination as well, just to make sure, just to make sure there is uh, uh, nothing serious happening, like stroke, TIA. That is something very, very important as well, right? So don't miss that thing. Yeah, when you do eye examination, what is uh, the thing that you're going to get? You will get number one, visual acuity is going to be low. When you do examination, you will get RAPD as well. What is RAPD? Relative afferent pupillary defect. That is what you will get. Also, what you can do when you do eye examination, you can do swinging eye, swinging light eye test as well. That is what you can do. Now, uh, what we have to do is uh, in terms of uh, investigation. So routine blood test and all liver kidney function test, vitamins level, you can check because that could be one of the reasons there, right? But, but the main thing that you have to do is an MRI scan. When you do an MRI scan, then only you'll be able to find out uh, if... Uh, there is any problem like say ms right <clears throat> ms is ms is a problem it's a demyelination right it's a demyelination so the patient can have problem anywhere in the body it could be eye problem could be delayed thinking could be hearing problem could be balance problem could be sexual related problem could be urinary problem bladder problem, I mean, uh, stool related problem, could be like uh, muscle stiffness, pain. I mean, whatever you can think of that you can have, patient can have here in uh, 
MS, multiple sclerosis. But if you see the symptoms only for eyes there, it could be optic neuritis. So you'll see a lot of time patients, candidates are saying, oh, optic neuritis station came. Some are saying, no, 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 it was MS. It's both, my friend. MS, you will see optic neuritis, right? And if you see if sometime the patient is giving the history that is only for optic neuritis, but sometime what they do is they give you a family history of MS, multiple sclerosis, then do ice properly. That's what I always say. Ice, ice is your biggest friend. Do ice. See what patient is thinking. Patient might be thinking, is it MS? I know you got all the symptoms of optic neuritis only. Can it be MS? Of course it can be, right? So tell them, we look, we have got only eye symptoms. You don't have any general symptoms at all. So looks like optic neuritis, but yes, you are prone to get MS as well, multiple because your mom has it, right? And see what you get in the uh, examination as well, right? So visual acuity is going to be low. When you check the Ishihara plate, patient might not be able to uh, say things clearly. They might have altered color vision as well. And a relative afferent pupillary defect, that's what you're going to see in optic neuritis. So what you need to do is immediately you need to treat this patient, right? Uh, symptomatically, patient has got pain. You can definitely give uh, painkillers. That is uh, really, really important. And whenever, you know, see, uh, when it is MS, multiple sclerosis, usually what happens, it's a relapsing, remitting, relapsing, remitting, relapsing, remitting. You have the relapse, your symptoms are there, then you feel fine. Then you have the symptoms, you feel fine after that. So relapsing, remitting, whenever the relapse happens, you need to treat the patient with steroids. Whenever the relapse happens, you need to treat the patient with steroids. That is really important. And it depends on the severity. I mean, the symptoms are too severe, we may go for IV steroid or else we go for oral steroid. And usually we give a steroid, I would say, for uh, uh, five, to 10 days, right? So, and we give DMARDs as well so that we can decrease the number of relapses. So we can give DMARDs as well. And our main aim is to treat the cause. That is MS, for example. So treat MS, yeah? And it's not like it's a lifetime problem. If you get uh, uh, MS, it's an autoimmune condition. Uh, it's like uh, optic neuritis, the inflammation of the optic nerve. It's a nerve that transmits visual information from the eye to the brain. So the inflammation of that nerve, and that's why I've got all these symptoms, right? And it's not an autoimmune condition. It's going to be lifelong. So whatever the symptoms the patient has got, if it is MS, whenever the relapse happens, you can treat that relapse. You can manage that relapse. But it doesn't mean it's not going to happen again. It is going to come again as well.